What's up, y'all? It's your girl, and I'm back at it again once again, time and time again. You already know it's your girl. You guys, I am back with a lock video. So, I usually, I pretty much, I be slacking on my lock videos, bro. Like, y'all don't really be asking me questions. So, like, I just don't feel like y'all be wanting to see the content. But, I am back with another one. I probably haven't posted a lock video in some days. But, oh, actually, not some days. Probably some weeks, y'all. I'm so, look at this. This is probably why people think that my locks are freeform. Ooh, damn. Y'all, I promise my hair is not dirty. Not dirty, but um, it does get a lot of things like trapped in it. So I'm gonna be answering the question, are my locks, are my babies freeform? So let's go ahead and give you guys, guys a close up of my locks. Cause I don't think that a lot of you um, can tell that they're goddess locks, but that's what they are. See, get a up close and personal. Hopefully it's not dirty. Um, show you guys. See if you guys can see it. I definitely need like a retwist. Oh, I definitely need a retwist. <clears throat> if you guys see any like white stuff, it's probably from the product that I use. Yeah, as you guys can see, I have a, a pretty big mane on my head. I don't retwist that often, but that is not what this video is about. Let's go ahead and hop right into the question. Are my locks freeform? No to make a long answer short. My locks are not freeform. I have goddess locks. That is why my ends are curly. I do not palm roll all the way down. My locks do not lock at the end. Every time I retwist, I do the two strand twist method. So, um, or the rope twist method. You guys, if you see me with another um hairstyle in my like with my lock, I'll probably have the two strand twist or the rope method done first, and then I would use another style after that. So I will never have my lock just single. I would never take like a single lock and just put a style in my um in them. I just feel like that because if I style my goddess lock, they're going to probably get a little bit damaged if i don't try to protect the ends and i don't want my locks to be you know looking all frail and you know dirty and fragile i do have one lock that's kind of like my struggle lock but everyone has one of those um he's consistent he he's growing pretty good but he is little he's thin um i wouldn't even call him thin that's not a good word he is one of my skinnier locks no my locks are not free form free form is basically when you go a really really long time <clears throat> without retwisting or not retwisting at all you can probably consider them free form uh if you still retwist you just won't do it as often as somebody with traditional locks or somebody with sister locks they, i mean they don't really retwist that often either because there's so many of them but literally somebody that has freeform locks they just let them do what they're going to do now my locks do look like that but i'm pretty sure that that's the only reason that they look like they're freeform is because they have like a lot of bumps and twists and like this one you would think that he might be freeform just because of the way that it's shaped but these are just buds in my lock. They're not, it's not me going free form. I do like to keep my hair a little bit fuzzy. I don't really like the freshly retwisted look on me just because it's a little bit condensed. It's a little bit, you know, like flat. I just like the rough look on myself personally. And I don't mind wearing like hats or anything. I really don't mind if my hair is fuzzy. Somebody that has free form locks, they probably will go, they'll let, like I said, they'll let their hair grow in like different directions. There'll be like all these different roots and limbs and and twists and turns and shapes and there but it's very very beautiful personally i i'm not even allowed to have freeform locks because i'm in the military but i still probably wouldn't do it if i was to restart this journey or if i wanted to stop retwisting as i do every month i still wouldn't go to the freeform method just because it's just not me some people that have freeform locks are like j cole 
Lil Wayne, he used to have traditional locks, but he let his locks like merge together and now he has freeform. Famous person, uh, Bob Marley, he's very, very famous. And I can probably say that most people started doing that because they look up to Bob Marley or they, you know, admire his set. His sons, all of them have locks that are freeform. Most Rasta, people that are in the Rasta culture do have freeform locks, but you do not have to be a Rastafarian or have freeform locks. And you do not have to have freeform locks to be a Rastafarian. So, I mean, literally, it's just like a hairstyle choice. If that hairstyle fits for you, then, I mean, by all means, go ahead and do it. Unfortunately, freeform locks do get, like, a negative outlook. People don't... People... Locks get a negative... A negative rap regardless. Now, some people think that they're dirty. Some people think that they're... It means that you're unkept. And that's not the... That's not it at all. That's probably the farthest thing from the truth because if you have lock then most people will understand that the lock will eventually break off and die and wither and just and just crumble if you do not allow your hair to be clean if you are not properly taking care of it using the wrong products a lot can go against your your hairstyle just because locks are a progressive hairstyle meaning what you do to them right now in the present day it might you might not see it until 10 years from now when your locks are all the way down to your butt and they're breaking off so i know i kind of went on a tangent that is the answer to if i have reform locks i do not i will consider my locks traditional but also goddess locks so at the root they're traditional at the end they're goddess locks so yes these are my real locks uh, i did not extend them i did not have any extensions in my hair these are mine i started with the instant locking method with a with a crochet needle the smallest one that you can get from walmart i only did that because i am in the military and i didn't want to go through the locking stage however um i don't want to keep on going on through a tangent i have a lot of videos about my hair on this channel so if you guys want to go ahead and watch my lock journey then you're more than welcome to see that on this channel i was going to make a lock channel but there's just really no reason for me to do that because i feel like i have so many supporters on this channel i didn't want to start all over on a lock channel i will be trying to post more up-to-date videos about my hair and probably answer new questions and re-answer questions that i've already answered before because sometimes things just change and you know people need to be updated on the journey or whatever so i will try to be more consistent i am an lgbt youtuber so the majority of my youtube content is about the lgbt community but i will try to do more videos about my hair if you guys want to go ahead and ask me some questions then you're more than welcome to do that in the comment section down below thank you guys for watching make sure to go ahead and comment and like and subscribe all that that good youtube stuff um like i said follow me on my social media i'm on instagram the majority of the time so if you guys have any questions please go ahead and dm me on there you can like i said leave it down in the comments i answer everybody in the comment section and more than likely if you ask me a question i will do a video about it all you have to do is ask thank you guys again for watching and i'm gonna catch you in the next video